Hi, Ingrid. I'm very happy to see this essay from you. Well done. Um, it's really nice to see that you're working and you're writing in order to prepare for IELTS, but not just that, that you're seeking out feedback for your essay writing because, um, honestly, it's only through feedback that you can improve and find out what your strengths, what your weaknesses are. So really good job with this. Let's take a look at what you wrote. Okay, the topic was international marketing. You have to discuss two sides of the argument and give your opinion. So let's see how you did with this. Nowadays, the phenomenon of international marketing has grown and there are a plethora of points. I don't know what this means here about the topic. One side of the balance, I wouldn't have written this, it's just not really natural. Um, one side of the, how about just one side? Honestly, that's the most natural way to say this. So, one side considers international marketing as invasive, the other, you don't even need to say part, you could have just said the other, uh, hmm, there are people who think it is, okay. All right, you know what you could have done here? Rather than saying this, so let's try it again. One side of the one side considers international in marketing as invasive, uh, whereas there are people who think it is necessary. I don't know what you mean here. To spread ideas, language, and culture. Okay, so you can see that I took out some words. I simplified it a little bit, but in this way it becomes much clearer. Um, and you've actually even used an advanced grammatical structure with using this um, contrasting. Uh, uh, device here. Okay? So, in fact, I believe that international marketing is a useful tool. For that reason, the following essay seeks to discuss further about this point of view. Uh, okay, how about this? For that reason, the following essay um, not really discusses, but analyzes this point of view further. Okay? That works as well. Okay, moving on. First of all, international marketing could be a tool which allows custom consumers to have a global awareness. Selling internationally a product. All right, how about selling a product? Mm, okay, selling a product that is popular or traditional in a particular re in a particular region or country internationally. Okay, that's where the this adverb should go. Contributes to uh, the spread of culture, okay? This is what's happening here, Ingrid, is that some of the syntax is a little off. So uh, you, another way you could have done this is when um, a product is sold in, wait, no. When a product that is popular, traditional, in a particular region or country is sold internationally, it contributes to the spread of culture. That's another way you could have done this, okay? For example, you didn't need a semicolon here, you just needed a comma. In Colombia, exporting cafe around the world has become a characteristic element of the country. As a consequence, people from different countries decide to col visit Colombia in order to know about ca the coffee process, not cafe. Cafe is here, actually, here and here. Cafe is where you sit and drink coffee, but you want the word coffee itself, okay? Spelled differently. Uh, process and the culture itself, hence international marketing, helps create an international perception about other regions of the planet without this S here. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's move on now to your second paragraph. Secondly, global marketing permits to spread other languages. All right, this isn't the right word. It, it helps to spread other languages. It facilitates in spreading other languages, but not permits. Or you could say global marketing permits the spread of other languages. Maybe that would have worked a little better. And you can't use although like this. Although needs its own clause. So although needs at the very least a subject and a verb. So although English is one of the main languages for the business world, people have become interested in learning more languages in order to have better opportunities in their career. So do you see what happens? You can't use it yeah, although like this. Um, another thing you could have done is you could have just left it out. and You could have just said English is one of the main languages, plural, for the business world. However, people have become interested in learning more languages in order to have better opportunities in their career. Okay, so you have two alternatives here. 
By way of illustration, currently many companies are hiring employees who know more than one language since there are people who request a service from different places and nationalities, thus improving and learning languages allows, without this it here, without the comma, to know more about others' culture, you need an apostrophe here, no comma, and all it is a consequence of the international marketing. Okay, I don't like this all here. And, okay, check out what's happened here. Let me tell you my big concern with this essay. You're supposed to discuss view, two views here. The first view, that international marketing is invasive and intrusive. The other view is that it's necessary and educational. I haven't seen anything regarding it being invasive and intrusive. So, right away, this would be a big problem for your task response. Okay, you've only answered half the question. Because um, it very clearly tells you to discuss both sides. Okay. So that's the first part. Uh, so that's a really big deal. And then the other part is, is I don't know how well you're really talking, uh, how well you're really talking about international marketing as a concept. I feel like this is more about globalization, and I feel like um, you haven't really answered the question, even in in the in the sense that it's educational and a positive thing, um, you know, educational and economical. So I have a real concern about the way you've developed this topic. Okay, so let's take a look now at your conclusion. In conclusion, there are a variety of points of view related to international marketing. Full stop. Some people consider that there are positive impacts like spreading ideas, no a uh here, culture, language, etc. Okay, try not to use etc. Either say what you mean or don't use etc. You could have said, uh, there are positive impacts. Yeah, and you've already said like, so you don't need etc. On the other hand, there are some others who believe it is an intrusion. In reality, I'm convinced that it helps developing a global and international awareness. You don't need a global, okay? You don't need, because it's just global awareness. Furthermore, it allows improving and learning languages, plural, or a la learning a language or languages, which can have a big impact on globalization. Okay, so you've got some nice elements here. There are some good uh, points to this essay. I mean, some of the grammar is good, some of the vocabulary is good, but you have a problem um, with regard to task response, okay? Um, if you take a look at the band descriptors that are available, the public version, you will see that uh, what happens when you only give a partial response to the question, which is what you've really done here. Okay, so I hope that we can work together in the future. I hope that you will continue to seek out um, uh, corrections from our service. And um, you know, you may also want to consider taking the online course to help you with your writing. I think that you will gain a lot, a lot of information from that, and that will really help you to improve. Okay, so whatever you decide, I wish you the best of luck. I really hope that um, we can help you in the future. So good luck with writing, and good luck with your IELTS.